G'day everyone, Ali here and thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm going to play in my paper mill art journal book and when I purchased this I picked up the wrong colour. I was meant to pick up the cream pages and I picked up the black pages but yeah but I'm going to make the most of this book anyway. So I don't want a black page but I want a white page so I'm going to cover it with gesso. Now I am using Montmartre white gesso and it is a fairly thicker gesso so I think this will be a good base for the page. So today I have got some Kmart paints here that I've had forever and I love these paints because they're like a satin paint and they're really good price point as well. So they are an acrylic paint and I do like the colours that they do come in. So I'm going to add some of these colours to my page today just using a brush and just randomly putting it down onto the page. So when applying the colours I just make sure that I dry in between each colour especially when I'm layering them on top of each other. Now I do have this 12 inch Kayser Craft bubble stencil that I'm going to be using but before I do use it I'm just going to cover this page in some yellow paint and then what I'll do is I'll actually get the stencil and with a wet baby wipe just remove some of that yellow paint. This will create not just layers but some texture as well to the page. Now I'm also going to come in with a makeup sponge and some paint and go over the top of this as well. So adding some more layers and interest to the page. Now all the products that I will be using today will be listed over on my website and my website link will be down below in the description box. Now I've got some tissue paper here and I'm just going to tear it into strips and glue it down using my Liquitex Matte Medium. I'm not sure where I got this tissue paper from but um, I will find an alternative and I'll list that over with the supplies on my website. So I am having so much fun today playing in this art journal. Now I am going to write a quote on this page. So if you've seen some of my pages that I've done recently, you'll know that I'm having so much fun doing this. So I've got this ruler here and this is a borderline ruler uh, by Creative Memories and it's called Wavy. So I've had it for ages used to have it when I was scrapbooking and I'm going to use this to help me uh, put some lines down on my page so because my words will go on this so this is a really good effect it's like a bit of a stencil just making sure that it's all dried um, I am using some black gesso on this 
uh, as well. So as you can see, really nice wiggly lines. So I'm going to have a focal point over the top of this as well. So uh, I think this page is starting to come together really nicely. Now something else that I'm having fun with is cutting out magazine uh, images. So there was a dress, I've cut some glasses out. Recently I did a bird page and I thought I would, I had leftover birds so I thought I'd cut the legs out and I'm just really having some fun doing this and it's just about getting in, having a go, having a play and just seeing what turns out. So I've got the arms here. I wanted to put them underneath. Uh, so I've just sort of popped the uh, arms at the back of the dress and just applying a good amount of Liquitex matte gel all over, giving that a dry off. Now recently I have entered the world of uh, Diana Wakeley's Media Scribble Sticks and I just have to say I absolutely love these things. So uh, I wanted to sort of outline the, uh, the girl here and I thought I'd just get some scribble sticks. I've got some water off on the side here and I'm just dipping it into the water just to activate that and going around the outside of my image here. So I've also got my Posca pens out and I'm just really prettying this dress up. I'm just using Posca pens all over my image actually. So I've got it in the hair and I've gone around her glasses and I've made some eyes and uh, yeah, just having a really good play. So I'm really loving how this is starting to come together. Now I've got a quote here that I'm actually going to just write out because I don't know how many times I write a quote out and I misspell something or I've got words around the wrong way or whatever. So to help me write this out, I'm just going over ever so lightly in just a pencil. Now this is a really sharp pencil and I didn't realise that it scratched off some of my gesso. So I'm just going to touch that up. So next time I need to have a blunt one. <laughs> so you won't see it when I'm finished, but it's just so I can actually be guided where to put my words and my letters. Now I'm all happy with this and I've just got a Posca pen and it's like a medium weighted pen and I'm just going over the lead pencil with this Posca pen.
Now I've got my fine Posca pen here and I'm just going to just go in, just put some details on these letters. Now I've got my black Posca pen and I'm just going around the wavy lines just to finish off and clean up uh, any Posca pen that's gone outside that black line. So this quote was from Matthew Pryor and he lived in the 1600s and was an English poet and diplomat. So that's my page finish for today. I do really hope that you have enjoyed this and found some inspiration. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first to get notified of my up and coming videos. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya.